I really love wild salmon, but I worry about them a lot. I think we all this salmon is what he found. Oh, absolutely horrendous. It's sickening. Huge billowing clouds of blood pouring out into the bay. The cloud turned out to be fish blood, a byproduct from a local fish farm, and it was being pumped directly into the ocean. Juvenile wild chum and pink salmon. In the very same bay that we're dumping farm salmon effluent from the packing plant right over here, only a few hundred feet away. Fearing this could be dangerous for the wild salmon population, he took action setting up a video live stream of the blood being pumped into the water so people anywhere could watch, and they did. So it's horrendous to see this billowing red effluent being pumped out right into this wild salmon corridor. You know, it's unbelievable that we still allow this. But he didn't stop there. He collected samples of the blood and sent them off for testing. They came back positive for an infectious disease some scientists say is known to cause illness in the wild salmon population, and that caught the government's attention. BC is now conducting an audit of 28 other fish plants in the province, all because Tavish took action. But you gotta wonder what your motivation was in the beginning. What possesses a guy, Tavish, to go and dive down to find a blood spewing pipe? Yeah, for sure. Well, it's certainly not something that uh, you'd want to do for fun on a Sunday afternoon. But, uh, you know, I've grown up and continue to live in the Discovery Islands, which really is ground zero for the salmon farming industry. And uh, I've had no, uh, no choice but to kind of witness the impacts the salmon farming industry is having. So, you know, there's been such growing evidence and concern about these viruses and diseases that the farm fish are carrying. Um, that we thought, you know, we should really go and check out these processing plants which are processing these farm fish and see what exactly they're dumping back into the ocean. And you're not a journalist with the same kind of distribution models that maybe I would have, but your video really caught on. What do you think it was that contributed to it exploding online? Well, I, you know, I think ultimately it's the visuals of the blood flowing. You can't get a much more dramatic picture than you know, this huge pipe just absolutely spilling blood into the ocean. So it's quite interesting. A number of years ago in 2010, I had done another dive on one of these processing plants, but we didn't have big enough dive lights. So the blood footage that we got, uh, you know, at that depth, the blood was just a dark black color and it was basically ignored. You know, government largely ignored um, our concerns. So it wasn't until we actually got these big underwater lights and were able to illuminate the blood that, uh, that people started to pay attention. I've got to ask what's happening now. You've done this. People around the world have now seen this blood and potentially virus-filled liquid pouring out of this pipe. Is that still happening? Yeah, as far as I know, it is still happening. Um, I haven't been able to get down to, for another dive since uh, releasing the video, but um, as far as I know, it's still happening. But there is some good news. The government, uh, the provincial government has announced an investigation into this practice of dumping blood water. Uh, they were kind of forced to. It was a bit of an embarrassment for Canada when this, uh, this footage went uh, global. So they're investigating um, this practice and uh, I'll be very, very curious to see uh, what comes out of that. Yeah, we'll certainly be watching too. Tavish, thanks very much for joining us today. Yeah, you're most welcome.